Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aquarius friends and friends of Aquarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. I'm Zachary. Thank you for joining me here and welcome to my table. So this is going to be a reading here for uh, December 18th through the 24th. Going to take us right on up to Christmas Eve. Okay, I'm going to get started shuffling here for your spirit animal energy. And then I do have the Starseed Oracle that I'm introducing here as a part of the pre-reading here for the start of the reading. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? Then we'll talk about your meditation and then get into the tarot. So what do we have for Aquarius spirit animal, animal energy wise, please? What do we have for Aquarius? Black bear, guardian, gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Give it to me. <laughs> Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Hmm. Um, interesting. Okay. So with, um, we'll talk about that in a second with the meditation. Well, we'll talk about it right now as I'm shuffling. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? So in the meditation, I saw, um, an illuminated letter, like those letters that are at the beginning of a manuscript or something like that back when monks, you know, would handwrite everything, an illuminated letter. It looked like a backward Z, but it was less, it was less important what the letter was. It was, what it was saying was illumination. And then um, I started feeling my crown chakra. So there's something about being illuminated through connection here, okay, to the universe, to the divine. The black bear talking about it's, it's a need for, um, guidance for protection okay for your for your power having confidence in your power awaken my intuition and guide me there's something about um being guided right now okay so there's an importance of connecting in that way let's keep going and see what do we have for aquarius spirit hmm. The great severing, interesting. So Mars energy, anger, conflict, and softening to love. So far, uh, so Gemini, <laughs> I just got done with Gemini, but Gemini had, uh, there's a lot of anger in that reading too. So maybe it's just the air signs turn here to be transmuting some anger, okay? Bringing love into the situation. They were connected to a previous relationship that was, uh, the anger was not subsiding or the fighting, okay? But I'm interested here with conflict and anger. There's a, there's a, I mean, illumination. The intuition was coming through for Gemini very strongly as well to be a guide. Something is, I'm feeling very strongly for the air sign. Something is um, making it difficult for us to see, because I'm a Gemini sun, or making it difficult for us to see that love, okay, that love component, maybe that we typically choose to experience life through. I feel very much like this is an opportunity. Uh, like after I got done with that reading, I'm like, well, shit, <laughs> like clearing things out, you know, for the end of the year, I do feel like that's, that's kind of what's going on here. We are going into Mercury retrograde, which is forcing experiences to go inward. Okay. So there may be some anger that is needing to be dealt with. Okay. I mean, it feels like there is, there's anger and conflict that has not been dealt with that is being requested to be dealt with right now. Right meow. So spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? December, uh, uh, December 18th, excuse me, through the 24th. Um, and thank you guys for being here. I love you. Thank you for your support. Returning viewers, thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time, welcome, you guys. Um, if anything does resonate with you here in this reading, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Those are all fantastic ways to support me and do help the channel grow, which is my goal here. So thank you guys so much. I do also offer personal readings. There's a link to that in the comment section, also in the description of the video. I do also have my Cash App and PayPal links in there. If something does resonate with you here and you feel called to donate or tip, I will accept that. Thank you. And those of you that have, um, thank you guys so much. It is not mandatory, but I truly appreciate it and is very helpful on my journey here. 
So let's move forward together. The wheel. Okay. Um, you guys, I feel like the hope here is that illumination component is coming out. So this is like a um, change of fate. You know, we don't necessarily affect or, or control the turn of the wheel, but in a way we kind of do, because this is like, this is a karmic cycle, okay? So whatever it is we're learning or not learning from it is dictating when it comes around or when it doesn't. I feel like the goal for a lot of you is to exit this wheel here, to move on to the next level, to be illuminated to what is coming next. So good. I'm glad. I'm glad to feel that energy, Aquarius. But um, I feel encouraged to say, like, to finish this karmic cycle, there may be a component, it feels like very much, there's a component of anger that needs to be dealt with. And maybe this keeps coming around because you're not dealing with the anger. <laughs> There's a request to connect to the divine here. Like there's a download. There's a download for you guys to receive an update to your firmware that's going to allow you to, to process that anger a little bit more. Maybe you feel like, um, I don't know, being angry is gauche. <laughs> uh, being angry is just like our society looks down on that, okay? A lot of emotions they look down on. Um, it's definitely important to express it in a healthy way and to see it for what it is. What is anger covering up for you? What is the conflict? What is your conflict with anger? You're being asked to soften to love, but that doesn't mean, um, like you're not spiritually bypassing this anger and just going love, 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 love. Part of softening to love is asking that anger what the hell it wants, okay? Be real with yourself. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius here? Because I feel like this is something that's like stuck inside of you. Now's the time. Like, dig deep, you guys. <laughs> what better time? <laughs> We're leaving the shit show of 2023 behind. Let's make 2024 a good year. Start off uh, on a good foot, okay? Um, and check out your rising moon Venus, you guys, if you want any other major placements in your chart are going to give you a little bit more information on what's going on. That's up to you. Five of wands. So, um, this conflict, you guys, <laughs> competition, the, uh, anger that is to do with conflict on this card as well. Anger, conflict, Mars energy. That's what this is telling me. This is that Mars energy. This is talking about. This is your fear or what your aversion is. I feel like for those of you that this applies to, and it is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, leave it for the person it does resonate with. And there's no need to force the message if it doesn't fit, okay? I give you permission <laughs> to release yourself. Um, but there's a fear of like, even just accepting that this is going on. It's like, I don't know. You feel like you, you have to show this face to the world for whatever reason, this is how you've been taught to be. Strong people don't show that. That's horseshit. Okay. I'm pretty sure I said that pretty clearly. Um, now is the time to work through that. You are not serving yourself. If this applies to you, this, you are not serving yourself by continuing to shove anger down. Because I promise you it's still coming out and people can see it and you ain't sneaky <laughs> and it's not being hidden, okay? Um, and it's just hurting you. And Aquarius, I love you, Aquarius. Like, you are one of, one of my fave signs, okay? I get along very well with Aquarius, at least, with my Gemini energy. Um, you deserve so much more. So free yourself from that crap. And free yourself from the story, okay? Because the conflict, I feel like the conflict is just like, you're not even allowing yourself to be angry for some reason. Let's move forward. Uh, you have my permission to be angry. Whatever's making you angry is valid, okay? And I don't feel like this is a recent thing. I feel like this is a buildup. But you're trying to maintain composure for some reason. Stop it. Let her, let her rip, honey. <laughs> So page of pentacles and death here. 
um, as your general energy. Page of Pentacles talks about something new, like something new coming along. Balancing or rebalancing an opportunity. Um, Earth magic comes through as well. Release that shit into the earth, you guys. <laughs> Death, though, this is very much talking to me about that. Let it go. Let it die. Like I said, softening to love here is not spiritual bypassing, in case you don't know, by the way, is by trying to do something else to avoid something that's going on. So you, you feel angry. Okay, anger's coming up. You may not know what it's attached to. We're going to figure this out, though. Um, anger comes up and you go, I'm going to meditate this away. I'm going to go for a walk in the woods until this feels better. That is spiritual bypassing. Okay. You're doing, you're trying to ohm it out, right? When in reality, you need to figure out what the hell it's saying or where it came from. It's time to, to dig deep and start healing some components of yourself. Okay. I'm feeling very much like, like you're comfortable enough with this anger because it's there all the time, but you're not comfortable enough with it to like, let it speak its truth. I am feeling um, something about earth magic here, like not going for a walk to try to avoid something. What I'm feeling here is like ground your ass and start screaming it out. <laughs> Give it back to the earth. She wants to help. Okay, um, Spirit, can we get some more information on the general energy here for Aquarius? What the hell's going on for Aquarius? <laughs> The Hierophant. So this talks about tradition, doing things the way that we've done them. Um, being initiated into higher processes of spiritual experience. I feel like this is what you're trying to do. Um, like I said, with the, the wheel here, you are working towards that illumination. You are working to illuminate yourself through a process so that you can spiritually evolve. But part of this process is dealing with the anger, you guys. Figure out what it's trying to say. What is it protecting? Because if it's still around, if this is messages for you, if it's still around and it's gotten to this point where it's hanging on, it's because you are ignoring what it is actually saying. You're ignoring what it's protecting. Go tend to that component. That's the part you need to soften love to. It's screaming, hello, <laughs> right here. I've been here. Please pay attention to me. Please give it attention. Okay. Stop numbing it out. Stop trying to avoid it. Stop trying to spiritually bypass it. Go take care of it. Confidence and power. So um, true power in this situation is allowing your emotions to tell you what, what's up. You need to cry, like have a good soul cry over whatever this anger is talking about that you've been avoiding. Ten of swords at the bottom here. This pain is at a level where you cannot, you cannot even, Aquarius, you can't keep doing this. You can't. Something will break, okay? And it's going to be you. <laughs> it's going to be your resolve, okay? Um, just allow yourself to work through this. You deserve to work through this, okay? Can we get some more information on uh, what this is? Please, Spirit, for Aquarius. Self-limiting beliefs, negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. I'm feeling drawn back to um, something from childhood, like you were programmed, I don't know, tough guys don't do this, or women don't show this emotion, you know, you've got to be demure and, and feminine, or what the F ever, excuse me. This is making me angry myself. I'm feeling this anger. You guys have got to work through this, okay? I'm not about to be feeling this for you. Hell no. I will for this reading, but that's it. Any more information here, please, Spirit? Because I feel, what is this issue? What is the anger here for um, Aquarius? Or what other direction can we give them? Seven of Wands here. So this is talking about holding your position on, on the hill. Like King of the Hill. Um, being attacked from all sides. Whatever position you are trying to defend, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Because this is what is creating the anger. What are you fighting? And why? Why are you fighting it? I 
mm, can have something to do with the family here too. I'm feeling drawn back to, like I said, program something somebody parent told you from childhood. This is how we do things, rub dirt in it, you know, put yourself up by the bootstraps, whatever effing crap else <laughs> needs to die with the 1900s, as I've said before. This is about bringing divine love into your experience. Crown is what's feeling activated again, that illumination. Soften yourself to that love, okay? Let those programs disintegrate because it's crap. And that's all it's bringing you is crap. <laughs> Death and rebirth and then Ace of Pentacles. So this is what's hidden here for you. Um, this is affecting every opportunity that you have coming forward for you in your life and have in the past. It's what this is saying to me. <laughs> Death and rebirth. Because you are not allowing something to transition through in this instance, it's an energy that's being displayed as an emotion. Whatever the situation is attached to is going to be different for each of you. And you guys that this applies to, you know this applies to you. This is resonating with you, I know. It's not going to resonate with everybody but for those of you this message is for, you already know what I'm talking about. So there is a need to let something go. And I think it's you. <laughs> like, let it go. Let yourself go. Not in like, not taking care of yourself. Quit trying to hold this image. No one is impressed. <laughs> you are not impressed. I know that. So try something new here. Let it die so something new can come through. So you can really start taking advantage of these. I feel like this is these are wonderful opportunities that are blocked because you're blocked. <laughs> You've been eating spiritual cheese your whole life and you're so constipated that you can't allow these opportunities to come into your life. And that's crap. You deserve all of these opportunities. Okay? Spirit, can we get some more information on what's hidden here for Aquarius? <laughs> You guys, I love you so much. I genuinely, like, I'm feeling that anger, okay? Whatever it is attached to, I am less interested in. But um, I do want to see you work your way through this. So, yeah, King of Cups, Judgment, and Three of Cups. So, um, King of Cups here. This is the notion of devotion to manage the motion of your emotion notion. <laughs> right? This is you mastering your emotions. Okay? There's a need to master your emotions. And that is not about shoving things down, pretending that you're fine. There's a, there's a respect here. The King of Cups respects their emotions. And outwardly, they invite others to do the same. This is me. I'm sending you an e-invite right now, you guys, to be authentic. This isn't about blowing up on people. But whatever that anger surrounding the conflict here, that Mars energy, this is talking about, it is surrounding a situation, a person, like something needs to be said, okay? To yourself, first of all, you need to give your per yourself permission to genuinely figure out what's going on here. But then you need to start taking steps to be authentic and have those things around you in your life be in line with whatever's going on here. Being in the hidden section, that's what I'm feeling is like, you may not be aware of this or you are so aware of it that it's a part of what you're shoving down. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, judgment. <laughs> this is leaving your old life of rot and moving on to what is to come next. Looking inside of yourself and looking at the components of yourself and asking, are these who I want to be? It's very clear here, I feel like. <laughs> Three of Cups. This ultimately is success, is what I feel like for you guys. You can succeed over this. But there's a need to acknowledge that you're even feeling something. Spirit, any last... Uh, okay. <laughs> Abundance and inflow of money, love, or rewards and dedication. Stay dedicated to your goals, efforts that will, re that will reap success. Your goal needs to be you. Okay, whatever your goals are right now, it's fine to have them. And I do feel like there is that success that's coming. But step one, my dears, <laughs> is making yourself the goal. And the more that you keep that dedication towards yourself, the closer that you're going to, to get to these rewards. And honestly, I don't feel like it's that difficult. <laughs> 
And maybe for you, like if you've been holding on to this for this long, it may be. I feel like your intuition is impacted because of this too. Like it is clouding your vision. That's, anger does that. Anger not only slowly kills us, but um, it does cloud every energy system, okay? So I'm feeling like your guidance system is not as accurate as that can be because of that anger. For some of you, I feel like there's something you do need to say to somebody, especially before it's too late. Either because they won't be accessible again, or maybe they're not accessible now. There's a need to um, feel like, like write that down, write that shit down, you guys, and burn it. It needs to get out of you. It is poison. So need, the sun and six of pentacles. <laughs> the sun here um, is life, life-giving energy. The sun can um, grow. The sun can burn is what this, this is talking to me about. Six of Pentacles is your give and take balance. So um, that's what this is talking about is like um, that big ball of fire, <laughs> that Mars energy. That anger can either move you towards something productive. Like that anger has a purpose for a short period of time. And if it's that it needs to keep you safe, you need to get through a certain period of time to have that energy, what have you. But if you haven't disengaged from that anger, now that you are safe or in a position to work through this, you're just hurting yourself. You are the fool. You are playing the fool and you aren't a fool. So stop it. <laughs> Take a week off and like, Sob it out, okay? Whatever you need to do. Get a counselor. <laughs> and this is a situation where I don't feel like you can, you know, read your way through it, like positive mental attitude books wise. If you're feeling stuck in this situation, like an energy worker even, I feel like you may need some help in moving, moving this through. Meditations here on YouTube can be very helpful as well. But you've got to give yourself permission to feel whatever it is you're feeling. Um, the six of pentacles talks about receiving help. <laughs> that's where I'm getting this from you guys. I feel like you need help and that's not a bad thing. It's not a shame component in order to get the healing essence of the sun back rather than it burning you. Cause I feel like that's what you're doing is burning yourself right now. Can we get some information on Aquarius need please spirit? How do they get what they need? Meditation, getting back to a place of being centered. So again, I'm not, we're not talking about spiritually bypassing, okay? We're not meditating to avoid that feeling. We are meditating, we're putting on our spiritual spelunking gear to get to the heart of the matter. We're meditating to find out what's going on so that we don't continue to miss these opportunities here. Um, Spirit, any other information on how or what Aquarius needs, how do they get what they need? They get what they need. Tell me I'm feeling better after the beginning of this, you guys. I feel like you need to just like let it out. You're not even you're not even showing it for some reason. Like there's shame around having this anger. Like it gets triggered sometimes at the wrong times. But when that does come out, like later there's there's shame surrounding it. I feel like you need to set up, you need to set this up so that you can feel, okay? And get some help. Balance, juggling too many things at once, find time for yourself. You are the most important thing in your life. If you were not here, your life would not be here. If you are not finding time for yourself, and this is telling me like the meditation that the Four of Cups is talking about here, finding time for yourself to balance your emotions, to allow your emotions space as well. Softening to love in that. That is self-love, you guys. And I understand it might be counterintuitive, like allowing that kind of pain and anger to, to be felt, but emotions are like the true spilling over of an emotion lasts for about 90 seconds. Okay, like a true emotional outburst. Anything beyond that, and you are feeding into that display again for some reason, because it's giving you something. 
So what I'm feeling in this situation is you are not even allowing yourself that 90 seconds. Like I see you just screaming, okay? Guttural, animalistic screaming. Whether driving, middle of the woods, I don't care, honestly, not towards somebody else because that's not what we're talking about. But this needs to get out of you. It is poisoning you. I don't like how it feels. Certainly not. So um, this is where it leads or what it's good for. Ace of Swords and Page of Pentacles. So just like the Page of Pentacles in, um, uh, where was it here? Oh, the general. Yeah, your general energy. So we're being led back full circle here. These, um, those, th those, uh, things that you needed to let die, what you need to let go of the anger, needing to let the control of that anger go. Cause that's what this individual is doing here is like balancing on one foot. They're keeping everything in ostensible balance, right? It looks like it's balanced from the outside, but it's not. Um, so bringing this back to where this leads here, this is truly leading to a new opportunity for you. She's got both feet on the ground now. You're seeing the same opportunities, but in a different light. So um, Ace of Swords, this is a new thought, new way of thinking, critical thinking, difficult thinking. I'm feeling like this is, like I said, your new way of viewing something that has already been here having the ace of pentacles in what's hidden um, those opportunities that are blocked because of the uh, avoidance of the notion of devotion due to the motion of your emotion notion getting in touch with your emotions and controlling those truly controlling them not confining them but allowing them the space that they need um, Spirit, can we get some more information on where this leads for Aquarius by the Page of Pentacles? So the Eight of Wands, um, this is the release of energy, you guys. The wands are plummeting towards the earth. They've already been thrown across the yard. They're finishing their transit. That energy, that anger that thrusts them into the air, this is your release. So this, I see this leading to that karmic cycle ending, but it really requires you to have some bravery here <laughs> to allow an emotion to overpower you for 90 seconds, to let it run through you and to have faith like that connecting the illumination. Let the divine illuminate this path for you. Okay. Have faith that that is okay because it is okay. And we're not talking about like property damage or taking this out on other people. Like I said, that's not okay. What we're talking about is releasing this emotion. Any other information on where this leads for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Um, it's also good news. And I feel like it's just, you know, the good news is, or haste, that this will happen quickly. As soon as you allow this to move through you, you're done. <laughs> Fresh start, new start. Oh, peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. That's what I'm saying. Paula. Let it out. <laughs> Be an animal for 90 seconds. Like I said, create a space where you can do this. I feel like it's going to be really helpful for you guys to figure out why you're angry though. Okay. Like releasing the edge from that emotion is important. That could be done without understanding, but you want to understand what's going on so you can truly release this and move past it because it's slowly killing you. <laughs> And that sucks, Aquarius. I don't like that at all. Your challenge, Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Wands, <laughs> again. So your challenge is that release of that energy. Like I was talking about where this is leading. I do see it leading here. If you can make the decision to do that, to get help in doing this, whatever help is required for you to do that. But the challenge is getting to that point of releasing the energy. There's a note of like being hasty to this. Um, like your hasty maneuvers are trying to spiritually bypass, putting on tones, putting on, you know, meditations, going for walks, reading a book to avoid this emotion. It will only get louder. 
until you release it. That's what needs to happen. Seven of Pentacles here talks about um, paying attention to if something is worth it. <laughs> the energy that you're putting into something, is it coming back as, as an appropriate return? What I'm feeling like from that, is it working for you? Okay, is it working for you to continue to shove this down or not? You're the only one who can truly say that, but the answer is it's not working for you, <laughs> Aquarius. This would not be taking up my time in the reading today if it were not the case. It's not working for you. It's not working for anybody. Again, Six of Pentacles here, your give and take. There is a need to get that into balance, to get this flow working again, okay? Help me. <laughs> Help me protect the ones I love. Part of protecting the ones that you love... <laughs> is getting rid of this anger, okay? This Mars energy. Because that's going to come out and hurt somebody. Probably already has. It's hurting you. Like, you can't avoid that, you guys. Can we get some more information on the challenge here for Aquarius? How do they face their challenge here? Please, Spirit. Ooh. How do they work through this uh, blocked anger? The Chariot. Willpower <laughs> is what comes through here, and faith. So again, not the component of willpower where you are shoving it down, you're directing that anger. You are directing that anger, but you're letting it out as a fast forward moving energy, okay? Positive momentum. You're moving that out in the way that the sticks are being thrown across the yard. Not shoving it down by willpower, okay? Uh, but faith is the component of this as well. Having trust that there is a reason why that message keeps coming up. Having faith that you can release that. It is not brave to continue to shove that down or think that you have control over that ultimately because you don't. Truly, we don't. The control we have over our emotions is by letting them be expressed in healthy ways. And when we stop that, or don't allow that, we are out of control. Death at the bottom here again. There's a need to let that cycle end. It's time for you guys to have <laughs> a bright, sunny day, okay? To have that happiness come back. And you got peace coming, but it's going to require that you let go of this energy. Manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things. Yep, that's another component of what you're continuing to shove down. That is going to come up as a thought too. It's going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to overpower it anymore. You may feel like you have some control over it or you've had control over it. It's not going to continue to be that way. Ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. Yep. Connect to the divine, you guys. Have faith. Ask for help. Whether, you know, please help me move this through. Please help send me. Please help send me the, um, the person that can help. Please help move me in the direction where there is help. Whatever whatever works. Ask for that help. Because you got Six of Pentacles twice here. Energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. Yes. But we're not doing meditation or prayer to bypass the emotions, okay? We're facing it head on. We're asking for help to move through it, not avoid it. So Five of Swords and Knight of Swords, this is your blessing. Five of Swords, this is defeat. Self-defeat. Um, having this in your blessing section, what this tells me is this ending, okay? This is a part of the, you're, you're self-defeating. This is a self-defeating endeavor by, and this could be any emotion, really, you guys, anger, sadness, anything that you are avoiding, this is very strongly Mars energy, conflict, anger. Um, this person has a headache. Maybe you have headaches. <laughs> that headache? <laughs> 98%, you know, there are, there are reasons why things happen physically, but headaches are um, one of the earliest energetic manifestation of constipated emotion, okay? It's emotion. Let it go. Let it go. Nine of Swords, this is putting energy into, or putting thought into action. So I feel like there's a component of in releasing this, like I do see screaming, but um, I see like kind of, it's not a, 
really interpretive dance. There's movement to like moving it through your body as well. Tai Chi. Mm, I'm getting chills on that. That might be helpful for some of you guys as well. Look that up on YouTube. There's so much free shit on YouTube as far as help goes. Yeah, I feel like that's something I'm getting a very strong message on that. That is something that's going to help release some blocks. Okay, start moving the energy through. It may not immediately release the anger, but it's going to start pointing you to why the anger is there. Maybe you don't know why. Maybe it's been so long. You have no idea. Do that. Tai Chi. Okay. Um, how does Aquarius get their blessing here? Please, Spirit. Any additional information. That's, honestly, that's the that is the message. Okay. Anything else here, please, Spirit? Wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. So for a lot of you, um, whatever an aversion, you know, if you have the ability to get a counselor and you've been averse to it, stop it. That is self-defeating, okay? Um, we do just need help sometimes from other people. And that is not a failure. That is being human. That is life. That's reality. So um, the encouragement here is, yeah, I would start off with some things like, like Tai Chi. Um, Qigong. There we go. Qigong. That's what's coming through. Look into Qigong, you guys. Um, start doing that at the beginning of your day. I just see like something needs to be moved in a way where tears are going to flow. I want to make you cry, <laughs> Aquarius, because you need this cry. You guys can do this, okay? Um, I'm happy to leave this reading, to be honest. The angry energy is uh, not my favorite. I don't like to be angry. Not that I avoid it, but I have definitely worked through my own shit as far as anger goes. So I know first, second and third hand <laughs> what this feels like and what this is all about. And I highly, highly encourage you guys to make this priority number one, because I promise you it will only get worse and it's only going to start manifesting as health problems as, as energetic financial issues around you too. Okay. Nip it in the bud. You deserve health emotionally physically spiritually okay i love you guys so much and i hope you have a beautiful week please take care of this <laughs> i will see you guys soon okay bye